It's no secret that people are changing jobs more frequently than ever before, but what does switching jobs mean for your retirement plan? Joining me in Studio 57 is CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger. So I was actually just looking at my account last oh, night. Oh, good for you. Which I don't do a lot. Okay. Because it stresses me out. But I have my 401k for my old job, and I'm wondering, what am I supposed to do with this? Well, first of all, we know that people are job jumping so much more yeah. now, and I feel like it's these poor orphan retirement accounts scattered all over the place. So you might think, well, what's the difference? I'll just leave them there. But you're not paying attention. You don't really follow the investments unless it's in an active plan. When you leave a job, you've got a bunch of choices. You could leave your money where it is. You can have it stay in the old plan if they allow it. You can move it to your current 401k plan. So you can have a direct rollover. It goes, hey, old 401k, go into the new 401k, great. You can also take the money that was in the plan and you can roll it into an IRA rollover account. Now, if you do that, you've got to pick where you're going to house the account, what investment company or bank or financial institution. And there, then there is the dreaded, horrible choice of cashing it out. Yeah, I and I that. just want to point out to everybody, please don't cash out those accounts. Because oftentimes, if you're under the age of 59 and a half, you'll pay, you'll pay a penalty. You'll have to pay taxes. It could, you could see basically half the money disappear mm. with that one decision. Oof. Yeah, it would be short-sighted. Um, all right, so let's talk about the pros and cons for each thing. So keeping it there. What are some pros and cons with keeping it with your old company? Look, I mean, you may have a plan that is amazing. You might have really cheap investment options in that plan. That's great. Um, as long as you can make changes pretty easily and you're going to pay attention to it, that, that's fine. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think that the advantage of moving it into your current plan is essentially that you're going to monitor it a little bit more in real time. Now, the idea of moving it into an IRA account, there's one little bit of protection that you lose. Um, you may recall that when O.J. Simpson lost this big civil case, there was huge fines and money that was levied. And people would say, but they couldn't touch his retirement money. That's because his money was in his old NFL 401k plan. And those plans are protected against creditors. So when you leave your money in a 401k account or any money that's in a 401k account, it is excluded from any civil litigation claims. Once you roll it into an IRA, then it's subject to that. So think you're going to get sued. Don't do that. Exactly. But, but well, you know, th this is only a few minutes, so we really can only go into so much detail. But what about somebody like me who still doesn't quite know where to go? Where can I go for more information or to really, really decide what's best for me? I'm going to just make the decision for you. Okay. Roll it over. What's okay. the big deal? Like, as long as you have a plan that's decent, I happen to know the plan here is a good plan. But, like, honestly... I just feel like if it's in the plan where you are currently working, it's easier to manage. You're going to pay attention to it. It's a simple, uh, it's a simple solution okay. to what can often be a complicated decision. Can you just make all my decisions for me? Absolutely, financial okay. what ones. What should I have Happy. for dinner? Okay. Happy Jill on money. Just go right there. Jill, thank you. <laughs>